This video highlights the Pixis CR200 Bluetooth LPR corrosion rate sensor and its configuration using the UPixis mobile app. This is a CR200 as you will receive it. Inside, you'll find the CR200 device, both copper and steel calibration caps, one lithium ion battery, one Allen wrench, and two spare set screws. You'll also receive one Pixis Bluetooth adapter, which enables wireless connectivity for you Pixis on laptops or PCs. You will also receive two sets of electrode tips, one steel and one copper. All of these items are available at pixis-lab.com shop. The first step in the setup process is installation of the lithium ion battery. To begin, loosen both set screws. Then open the interface cap. Do this gently as to not damage the ribbon cable. Insert the ion battery into the CR200 with the positive terminal facing upward. Then gently close the interface cap and tighten the set screws. Next you'll have to install your corrosion electrode. The CR200 uses industry standard electrodes, which are available from Pixis and other suppliers. First, insert the O-ring provided. And then tightly thread on the electrode. Now power on the device by pressing and holding the power button until both lights flash. Once powered, the green light will continue to flash, and the unit is automatically in beacon mode. To configure this device, you must set it to periphery mode by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button until the blue light flashes. Now on the UPixis app, select the CR200. Select the Settings tab. Here you can customize the device name, water treatment product, and the reading interval. Please note that in order to record localized pitting data, the reading interval must be set at 3 minutes or greater. When set to 60 minute frequency, the CR200 will log six months of data and the batteries powering the unit should last nine months. You can also customize the metallurgy and alloy factor. To save your changes, select set device. Under the readings tab, you can see a live feed of data. Select the data log tab. Select Read Records. Now you can choose to select Overview, which will gather all of the data recorded by the device, or Read Last 100, which would read the last 100 data entries. Then to share the data, select the Export Share button. Here you can send your data in a variety of ways.